Hello, this is James Bear. I want to give you a brief tour of a new feature which is in WebLogic Server 10.3.3 or 11GR1 Patch Set 2. It's a tighter integration with JRocket Mission Control and what we're seeing here in this recording that I've done previously is a bunch of information um, around the WebLogic Diagnostic Framework. So whereas you're normally used to seeing events like this that just relate to the JVM itself, like Java weights and exception counts, socket reads, sleeps, things like that. Now WebLogic server is producing events that show up in this flight recording and I get much higher level events, things like EJB invocations, servlet calls, JDBC calls. Let's take a look at how we initiate that. So this is a standard MedRex application. It's running JRocket and I just enabled this new feature uh, of JRocket uh, called the flight recorder that keeps the recording always on and this is from Mark at Hertz, he's on the product team at JRocket uh, from his blog shows you how to do that so I changed that value and set domain ENV and added that Java option to my uh, start script and inside of the WebLogic server console in on your server configuration general tab you'll have this new dial here that you can turn the diagnostic volume on um, to a couple of different settings, low, medium, and high. I'm currently setting it to high, and I can also turn it off, but high allows me to have the most diagnostic information available, including users that were logged in and uh, thread stacks that were associated with the events. So let's go click through a couple events here inside of MedRec, and I will make a few calls. And now I'm going to go back to Mission Control and click on my JVM browser because I'm always keeping that recording going. I can click on dump default recording and just get, let's say, the last 40 seconds worth of data. And so this is a much um, a better way to do things compared to the previous versions of JRocket where I had to initiate uh, a request before uh, for a recording before the request came in. Now I can always keep the last five minutes or 10 minutes of data and just pull in those uh, recordings as necessary. So if I look at the events uh, tab here, it starts by being filtered for Java, but I'm going to look at WebLogic Server. And now I have all these events for EJBs, JDBC calls, servlet calls. If I look in the log, um, you can see that they follow the request through the system. So servlet call, then the EJB call, getting a connection from the JDBC connection pool, starting a transaction, etc. And if I want to see all the information that relates to one particular uh, flow through the system, what I can do is pick an individual servlet, and you can see in these attributes down here, um, I get a bunch of information, including the URL that was used, the user that was logged in, the duration. I also have this thing called an ESID, which is an execution context ID. So this flows through each event in this particular request as it goes through the system. So this ESID ID is the same. So if I want to see just the in events that relate to this ESID, I go to the operative set and add it to my operative set and say only show the operative set. And so I can see now that this is a very simple servlet invocation. I don't have any, any EJB calls or JDBC calls in this one. So let's go ahead and take that one off and find uh, one that's a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to clear that. I'm going to go all the way back up to this uh, invocation up here. I think this looks more interesting. And in this one, yeah, we actually see we have um, a servlet calling EJBs, getting some JDBC connections. So it's a much um, more interesting uh, request to this system. And if I look at the, C the JDBC statement, I actually get the SQL statement down here. So that's pretty interesting. Going all the way down, I get the exact full thread stack that uh, is associated with this. Um, and so this whole request took uh, 284 milliseconds to go through and then looking through all these different uh, pieces here I can try and break down where I spent a lot of my time to see if there's anything unusual there and try and optimize things. So it's very um, much more powerful than the old JRocket that, um, recordings that were just uh, low-level job events. Now I can roll that up to WebLogic server. So we have something uh, new to look at too as well uh, coming. If you look at 4.0.1 of Mission Control and this install plugins, um, that adds this WebLogic tab here. It's experimental at this time, but that'll be a preview of something to come. I hope you enjoyed this.